one of the questions I get all the time, especially as karate guys fighting other karate guys, is how do I deal with somebody who runs away all the time, who every time I flinch or move, <laughs> scurries away. Perfect. like because if you're fighting somebody who's like literally trying to run away from you then you're just a bully and I'm not helping you but the idea is that if somebody's constantly scooting back and just like bolting out of range before you can get a chance to punch them or kick them or get off your combination then we've got to work on that so we've got a couple options option number one we should be able to move faster forwards than they can backwards so them coming like this and backing up we should be able to match that and go forwards. I mean, think about like how far past you can sprint forwards as somebody who can sprint backwards. Now, if they're a good counter fighter, then they'll bait you into overextending and leaving yourself like this, Ugh! in a bad position, then they can pick you apart the way they want to. The goal of moving forwards faster than they can move backwards is to move forwards fast enough with enough control that you're not leaving yourself exposed. So one really simple way you can work so one really simple way you can work on moving faster going forwards than you already were, other than just like repping out the motion over and over again, is finding a hill and working on doing whatever your blitzing movement is, working on blitzing up the hill. Whether it's like a double jab motion or it's a motion where you're alternating feet and which foot is forwards. There's a couple different types of blitzes that karate guys use. Boom, boom, stuff like this. Works really well for doubling up the same side or then alternating, moving those arms opposite, opposite. So practice going up the hill for a while and then go on solid flat ground. Goal is to get to a point where you are way faster moving forwards than they are backwards. If there's somebody who constantly bails and they pull their head back, there's combinations that we can throw, then we've got to work on landing body shots. If you're somebody who fights like this and is constantly walking somebody down, so you become like Michael Myers trying to chase somebody down while walking, like until you break that speed, you're not going to be able to catch anybody who's going backwards. So with somebody backing up, you most likely are causing that because you're constantly fainting or giving them some reason that they have to bail. Now some people just back up a lot naturally. But in order to break that and actually make contact with somebody, you have to think about it this way. Either I have to blitz, change my speed and go bang really fast, move forwards faster than they're moving backwards, or I have to lull them to sleep and then strike. So by moving around and kind of chilling and not really giving them any reason to feel like they're in danger, getting them into a false sense of security, and then bam, striking when they're least expecting it. Now the last one is if you have the luxury of having a ring or something that's cutting somebody off. Slowly walking them backwards until they have this option and then cutting them off with strikes or kicks. So if somebody moves this way, coming here, striking, pushing them back into this corner. Corners are the best for this kind of stuff. Flat stuff, it's a little bit harder to cut somebody off. You have to more so stay in front of them. The idea is that as I'm throwing these punches, switching, and getting them exactly where I want them, putting them exactly where I want them, instead of letting them back up freely. Because I mean, you think about it, there's nowhere to back up here. Even the squirrels run away. If somebody's backing up once and then sticking, so every time I move forwards, they move backwards once and hang out here, I like to double up my combinations. Bang, bang, double up with the jab. If I'm throwing a side kick, boom, bang. Throw a hook kick afterwards. Taking stuff that you usually throw is a one and done. Bah, bah, bah. Come twice breaking that pattern of them going like this, sitting. Now by the time they sit, my second one's coming. You can do this with a lot of stuff. Bang, bang. Roundhouse kicks, Superman punches, great for stuff like that. Anything that has you moving forwards in a different pattern than you usually do. So long story short, the answer is to either back them into a corner and then cut them off, is to lull them to sleep, is to be able to move faster forwards with more composure than they can backwards, or to give them a pattern and then break the pattern. Single jabs, single kicks, then doubling up. Now if you like this and you have other ideas that you want for videos and stuff like that, make sure you comment, let me know. If you like this, share it with people who are constantly feel like they have to run somebody down. Tag somebody that you have to run somebody down. Do it very discreetly though, don't give me a last name. Make sure you guys subscribe or I will have no choice but to kick you. Bah. That one's a little too high, I'm a little stiff. Bah.